Hey guys, it's Luke here from 2029C and I'm joined by Isabella from 6607A. And today we're going to do a little commentary over the finals matches of the Minnesota Signature event. So to begin, we're going to watch the auto. And so far, this season has been, I mean, pretty, pretty boring, right? I mean, everyone's just camping in the corner mostly. I think that's why they're saying they're going to have a rule change. Yeah, I'm excited to see. It. I think it's going to happen like early September. That's what um, people have been saying, because um, I think um, the foundation doesn't really like how people are corner camping, nor that they're no one's really hanging yet. Yeah, as course. much as they want. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I totally agree. I would definitely like to see the the wall stakes, you know, be valued a lot more, or just the positive corners be nerfed. Or like having restrictions to it. They're, it's just it's it's such a basic strategy that doesn't really allow for the rest of the game elements to be used, such as wall stakes, or we don't really see negative corners. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I is. saw a lot of teams have really nice wall stakes mechs coming into this tournament here, and I loved, and I wanted to see them, you know, use it, but, like, it just wasn't viable because that wasn't a, a strategy that, that was even, like, at all good here because of the rules they made, right? Yeah, like, you could build, like, how much a wall stick is worth rather than filling a goal camping in the corner. That's just much safer for you in the long run. Mm -hmm. I'd also want to see them, you know, do a little bit of changes with the Autonomous. Maybe lower the bonus a little bit, you know? Yeah, it, it's, it mm -hmm. is a huge swing. Like, I think even you calculate it as well. Yeah, it seems a little too strong to right do. now. Because, I mean, with, with all with all things to be considered, you should still be able to make a comeback even with even after losing the Autonomous, right? But so far, this season has just seemed like it's physically not possible, right? Because for uh, Maul, and it's like 94%, where if you win auto, you win the whole game, right? So, and for like other seasons, you can win the auto and still lose the game, right? And I mean, as a testament to that, last year at Worlds, uh, at our semis match, we won the auto, but we still lost the game, right? So... This season has just completely like, if you win the auto, you pretty much are guaranteed the game because how of how big that swing is. Like also like look at the game right now. You have two robots camping the corners, and you have a one v one the entire time. Yeah, I mean with how I mean the scores are really low. It's like thirty, right? The round thirty. So then a six point swing is huge. So I definitely would like to see them change that. Yeah. And I think they will probably change that. Yeah, it is, it is too, way too much power, and even, like, if you disconnect, or, like, as we saw, some teams struggled with that, you are just unfair, placed in an unfair situation, because mm -hmm. many teams have about, like, almost a goal filled, and they have such, like, an advantage, like, five seconds already, and time was really crucial when yeah. you want to put a goal and get in that corner. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the the last, like, 10-second plays? I, personally, I think they've been pretty exciting, but the thing is, like, that's pretty much the only like exciting parts of these high stakes matches is just the last 10 seconds i totally agree yeah i mean a lot like, of action happens like, there but compared to that like the rest of the match is not much action yeah exactly so i hope like there's a maybe a protection or like they make the positive corners worth less etc cetera, etc cetera, just so we see more action from the robots to each other and have more strategy and movement around the field. I mean, overall, I think one thing that would fix quite a, like a few of the issues would just be making the wall stakes uh, be valued more, right? Because then that would overall yeah. increase the scores at the end of the match, which will also decrease the portion of the scores that are that that is the autonomous bonus, and also would in turn lower the portion that the positive corners are worth, right? That might be the most direct solution to this game. Yeah, and I think, I mean, I think they'll do that. I hope so. I hope, I hope to see, like, some change or incentive for something. Yeah, I mean, now until the, the finals two match, see what happens here. I mean, same thing happens. Everyone's just running the auto rights. Do you think that people are going to start having the, like, the clamp blocks, the goal covers, or, like, even kaboomers, maybe? I'm not really sure yet. I again, I don't really know what the, the rule change will be, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It just really depends what we find in a month. Because, yeah, let me just see. Because, because I think there will be like one goal rush, right? Because there will be 
Because if you want to have that advantage of three goals at the start, I think yeah. you want to have to face your robot towards this one here and rush this one, right? That, that should be the most, like, that, that's the most efficient strategy for Auton. Well, no, I mean, I don't know if it's the most efficient, but I'm, but that's just, like, will put you in the most advantageous position yeah. after the Auton, right? Because, I mean, we watched all the mall, mall matches, and it seemed to be, like, Glover had three goals had a huge advantage because you were just able to control more of the scoring elements, right? For sure, and especially put that in the corner and just have that one robot guard two and while someone keeps loading or fighting that fighting for that defense across the field. Yeah, so I mean I would like to see teams develop autos well not like I'd like to see that, but I think that teams will try to develop autos starting soon where their primary goal for this side is to rush this goal here and you know end up with three goals is the goal right yeah that's the smartest thing to do yeah i mean with that rush see see how one yeah 108 definitely goes for that but with that rush you'll i think we'll see we'll, we'll soon might even see uh teams using like the mechs that i described earlier where it would give them a competitive advantage w w in that rush. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, as the match Watch starts, it. we see just the same things happening oh. every single time, well, right? Which is kind of boring. It will, right now, Blue has possession of, like, not possession, but within their their area, three goals, which already shows you that how maybe they won this match. They have already more goal possession and just yeah. the control mm -hmm. on their side. Yeah. And then kind of, that's kind of what I was saying, right? I was kind of saying that, like, hey, like, you sh your auto is what wins you the match, right? So then 100A and BarkBot's positioning their auto just like this, where I would said that you want, in, in the very high-level matches right now, you would definitely want to get control of, like, this goal right here. This one right here in the middle, right? Mm-hmm. And they yeah. put themselves in a really good position to get control of this goal, right? They put their clamp pretty much on the goal. So right as the match starts, they're able to just grab that. And you'll see as as the match starts, it's right away, they grab that one. And then now they're up a goal at the start of the match. And, I mean, Red notices it and then tries to, you know, tries to tries to take it back. And they, they do. But the thing is, a lot of time has been wasted already by 100A, right? Mm-hmm. It just, it, gave, it just gave Blue a, a time advantage when it comes to loading their goal and keeping it in the corner. Because, like, right now, I don't even... I can't really see how much Red Team has in their corner. It doesn't really look like they're stacked all the way. And now they just have, like, three goals that are not really fully stacked against where two fully um, filled goals in that corner that Blue has. Yeah. I mean, another thing I noticed about both of these alliances, actually, in the finals, is that they're very, they're very uh, competent, like, um, not only, like, alliance, not only teams, but, like, their alliances in general, right? They were able to, like, pass off these goals to each other and just have a lot of trust, right? Because I saw that was a lot of the, one of the big issues with a lot of the other teams here was just that they weren't able to pass off the goals. Oh, 100 a gets stuck there, but they were just not able to pass the goals off to each other, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I mean that's I saw I've seen teamwork is like a huge part of this game because I mean with the current meta as it is right now, you would definitely want a team to be defending. And even if the wall stakes gets, you know, get a, get a fair boost like a fair uh, buff, I think you would still want to have be safe and have a team defending. Always, you always probably should. Yeah. So then I mean that would have that would always mean that you'll have the you, you you'll have to have a team drop off a goal because uh you can only have one possession right yeah yeah i mean and yes. looking at this match i mean 100 a is very smart playing that negative zone strategy negative corner because i mean they were able to steal that goal at the uh, mid part of the match and they just decided to sit in the corner and that's still another thing that i kind of like to see changed right because in this match, you just have three robots in, in, in the corner and another one just uh, roaming around, feeling, uh, just trying to maximize that goal, right? Yeah. I really 
like how, um, I mean, now I guess some teams learned about where to place their goal in the last three seconds. Rather than just dropping it off, they wait until literally the last second so we don't have that last second negative push in again. Yeah, I mean, you especially see that with BarkBots right here where they uh, just, they're just trying to keep themselves, uh, keeping a distance away from Red. And I mean, Red just has no time because Red definitely does want to go for that D score right now because. I mean, they probably know that, oh, they're probably going to be down because blue has a D-score on them. So they're trying to get that negative yeah. zone impact as well. But Barkbots just keeps it away from them. Barkbots just runs away and then gets the hangoff last second as they drop off the goal. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, overall, very class, uh, very high class gameplay from both of these teams and and I'll put the, the scores up for these two matches in a second. And yeah, thank you for uh, doing this commentary with, with me, Isabella. Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you guys for watching.